Hey guys, my November December Zany Laney package just came, so I want to do something different this month. And I haven't even smelled them yet or opened it. I'm going to do like a first sniff type review. Um, and I say November slash December because they're not doing a new collection for December. This is like all the holiday scents now. Well, I smelled something cinnamony as soon as I opened this. Hold on. I just want to, I want to pull up my... PR email so that I can get everything right in case I don't remember something. Name The name of the collection is Yuletide Adventure. I got, I think I got all wax and sprays this month. I did not get um, any scrubs. Okay, that's the other thing that I can't talk about. So there's two things in here that like we're testing out and I can't mention them. So I just put those to the side. And then everything else I picked are, what do you call it? It's, um, waxes or sprays. All right, so the first thing, I'm gonna do the Create a Scent um, because they did a contest well, kind of like a poll thing to pick a name and like create a scent for Max from Stranger Things and I think I won both of those. I'm pretty sure this was the, the fragrance that I picked and then the name Totally Tubular is what I came up with and it won in the poll. So um, uh, what I picked was Vanilla and strawberry soda. So it's vanilla, strawberry soda, and a skateboard <laughs> from Max's character from Stranger Things. I was just trying to think of like what reminds me of her from the series and like they were eating ice cream in the last series. She was when they went to the mall, um, her and Eleven L. Um, they had ice cream cones, so I was like, okay, vanilla, and then what else goes with it? And like, strawberry soda. <laughs> so, let's see what this smells like. I have two of these, because I got one as a prize for creating it, or coming up with it, and then I bought another one. Yep, this smells good. So it's, a, it's not super fizzy, but it's got like a strawberry fizzy scent, which is the soda. And then it like slightly vanilla. I like that a lot. So that is totally tubular. Um, so I got two of those. I'm probably gonna do some sort of giveaway. I want I want to do a giveaway on my channel closer to Christmas as like a thank you for everybody who <laughs> has been watching me for so long. Um, Alright, so what do I want to do next? I know there's another... Let's see, increase a scent. Okay, so there... Where is it? <laughs> I thought I got that one. Did I not get that one? Okay, so I, th I thought I got one of the first toy maker. That was uh, a scent created by Heather. And... It was from Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Breakfast Pastry, Orange, and Marshmallow. But I got a wax and a spray of Oh There You Are instead. So, I think I confused something. I don't know. <laughs> it was written, the first toy maker was written on this, but she might have just sent me one of the, uh, the waxes of this one by accident. Anyway, um, that was a scent created by Heather. And then the rest, I believe, are all... There was no commission sent this month. And then I didn't get... There was two signature scents. Wine and Chill, I didn't grab that one. And Catterday Evening, I didn't grab that one. I'm just going to mention that all the scents this month are available in wax, except for Totally Tubular and the signature scents. And then... Christmas Snowflake, which was the Grinch one from last year, and Pumpkin King, um, which was the Nightmare Before Christmas one, 
those are all available in wax this month. Um, and these scents are going to be spread over November and December, so there won't be a new video from us like about new scents next month because they're all uh, this month and next month. So we're getting it. I'm getting it done in this video. So now to go on with the ones that are in the collection for this month, we have. Mm, I don't know which one I want to sniff first because I haven't smelled any of these yet. Um, I know I'm gonna like the Home Alone one. I kind of want to save that for last. All right, I'll do. Oh, there you are. This one is inspired by Hook, which that is probably my brother's all-time favorite movie. I besides Batman Returns and Batman, um, I had I watched that so many times growing up because he was obsessed with Hook. Anything Captain Hook, the cartoon Peter Pan, the Hook movie, anything Captain Hook, he was obsessed with pirates. So <laughs> this is Hershey dressed up as one of the Lost Boys. Is that focusing? I hope that's focusing. And this is Rain, Blackberries, and a Little Pixie Dust. I know I'm gonna like this one because I like anything with like a berry scent to it. Oh, this smells good. This smells like some sort of like a Victoria's Secret perfume. Mmm. I don't know why I'm showing It's still the purpley color. They use a like palm wax now, I believe. And I've noticed that the scent throw is a lot better on them, on the waxes, with the new wax formula. And now that it's nice and cool outside, nothing's getting melted or, <laughs> or banged up or anything. So I got that in a spray too. Like I said, I thought I had just gotten the spray, but I got a wax as well. Let's see, hold on. Oh my goodness. They tape them up really well, and this is probably why I haven't filmed <laughs> as soon as I open them, because I usually go through and take off all the, the stickies, but whatever, I can edit this out. Um, okay, so let's smell it in a spray. It's probably going to be a little bit stronger. <sighs> yeah, that smells really good. The rain scent they've used in a couple other ones, and it's a very clean smell. But the, it just goes really well with blackberries. It's a very fresh but fruity scent. So that is, oh, there you are, from Hook. And that's definitely a very, like, around this time of year type movie because they always play it on TV around this type of year. Um, okay, so the next, I'm just going to go in order here. Pick Me Up. Uh, what one was this inspired by? Sleepless in Seattle. This is tiramisu and coffee. And I got this one in the wax because this is going to be a bakery scent. I know it. And I like bakery scents in waxes better. Oh, that smells Lucky. really good. Like the coffee isn't overpowering. Yeah. It's a little bit of like vanilla-y. Yes, mommy. Yes, Aiden. What's up? <laughs> so he runs away. Yeah, this one is really nice. It's not like an overpowering coffee scent, and coffee scents can usually be pretty strong. That one's a very nice. So that is Pick Me Up, Sleepless in Seattle. I'm excited. I have a bunch of new waxes now. Um, the next one is Christmas Must Endure. This is from uh, Christmas Chronicles. I still have never seen that. <laughs> um, I think it came out a couple years ago. Uh, but this is Hollyberry, Christmas Lily, and Coconut Cake. That sounds like an interesting, an interesting combo. So let's sniff this one. <clears throat> I have to like clear out my sinuses here. Oh, that smells really good too. I like coconut, coconut cakey scents like this, but it's not. It doesn't smell bakery-ish because it's got the lily and the hollyberry in there. So it's a little bit fruity, perfumey. It's not overpowering at all, so it's not like a, a headache-inducing one, but I like this a lot. I'm excited to melt this one. So this is Christmas Must Endure. And then Eat My Rubber. <laughs> this is inspired by um, Christmas Vacation. And they had a contest to name this one too, 
and my team originally wanted to do a bit nipply because we thought that was funny but <laughs> I love Christmas vacation that was actually one of the themes I was toying with in my head to do for my Christmas collection this year but I ended up going with a Christmas story so this is eggnog and Christmas trees and uh, I hope I like this one because like the evergreen type Christmas tree scents are another one like cinnamon that can give me a headache I love the way it smells but I can't have it going in the house because I get a headache okay this one is not it's not super strong it does smell like like evergreen but I think the eggnogginess I'm just like making up words now <laughs> the eggnog scent kind of mellows it out this is definitely like Christmas in a clamshell I like this one okay good I'm very excited because I didn't want to dislike the Christmas vacation scent <laughs> So that is Eat My Rubber. Then the last two I have here are both sprays. Um, Santa's Little Helper. This is, of course, Simpsons. I remember seeing the first episode of The Simpsons. Like, everybody was excited about this new cartoon. And it's still on all these friggin' years later. <laughs> so this one is Donuts, Brown Sugar, and Chestnuts. I, I think my team came up with that. Uh, uh, scent combination I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the one we picked we've done so many of these like I can't remember which ones we won and which ones we didn't so this has um, Roxy right dressed up as Marge with Christmas lights in her hair please focus And I already said it, donuts, brown sugar, and chestnuts. We wanted to make it like very, of course you have to have donuts, right? Because of Homer. Ooh, why does that smell cherry-ish? It smells like almond. Maybe that's the chestnuts? Oh, that's really good. This is probably my favorite. It's not, um, it's sweet because of the brown sugar and the donuts, but it's got like, it's that must be the chestnuts. It has like a cherryish, cherry almond scent to it, which I really like. So, scent is a little helper. That's probably my favorite so far, but I think I'm gonna really like this one too. This is filthy animal, which is fudge ice cream and ingenuity, and this is, of course, based on another one of my favorites, which is Home Alone. Is I really hope my camera is focusing. I'm trying to get my head out of the way so it doesn't want to focus on my head. Okay, let's take the lid off of this one so I can sniff it. Let's smell filthy animal. Mmm. It smells like vanilla ice cream and like chocolate syrup. Yup. I like that one too. <laughs> so that is filthy animal. So this is definitely like a pillow spray. I say all the time that I spray the food scented ones on my pillow. I think Steven's gonna like this one too. He's gonna like, I know he's really gonna like the uh, totally tubular because he loves strawberry scents and just like fruity scents in general, which I do too. Um, so yeah, I think my favorites are definitely Santa's Little Helper, Totally Tubular, um, which one else, other ones did I really, I really like the Oh There You Are one too, and Fill the Animal, I, I like them all this month, <laughs> so, um, I was pleasantly surprised with the, um, which one is it, the one that smelled like yeah, uh, eat my rubber because I was worried about the Christmas tree scent, but I actually really like it. So, very excited about that. Um, my lips are chapped now. Gonna put on some chapstick, lip balm, whatever. Um, yeah, and then there's the other stuff that I can't talk about because we have to test it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There isn't gonna be a Zany Lanny video next month because, like I said, the um, what do you call it? 
we're spreading these scents out throughout November and December because December is so busy anyway. Um, and there were other scents you could get. Like I said, the the first toy maker, which was Santa Claus is Coming to Town. It is breakfast pastry, orange, and marshmallow. I have hiccups now. <laughs> and then <gasps> the wine and chill scent and Catterday Evening. Wine and chill is muscadine, mint, and a cool breeze. And Catterday Evening is peanut butter cookies and milk. And I think those were all the scents for this month. As always, order from zanylaney.com. That is the website. I'll link it below just so to make it easier. And you can use code MEG10 for 10% off uh, your entire purchase. The Facebook group, I will link that below also because there's often deals going on and stuff in there. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you in my next video.